popular nightclub at 12th and Harney in Omaha, who describes himself as a libertarian, is not hiding from thoughts he posted on social media. He commented on transgender people and which bathrooms they should use in his club, The Hive. Reporter Maya Signs is live with the controversy and reaction. Maya. Craig, Jay Gardner never thought this Facebook post would go viral. In it, he suggested transgender women should not be allowed to use a woman's restroom unless they had their appendage removed and their state ID changed to their new gender. Today, I spoke to the owner and to folks from the transgender community, both who see this as a learning opportunity. Jake Gardner told KMTV in no way was this accusation of predatory behavior aimed anywhere near the transgender community. I wanted to be clear, this is not about transgender folks, but predators posing as something they're not. Gardner says he first posted his thoughts after reading an article about transgender bathrooms, which led him to think about an assault that happened at his bar's restroom almost a year ago. He says his agenda is the safety of his guests, not anti-transgender views. He added, I wish I had reached out to someone with trusted experience in this field first and rounded the edges on my statement to ensure I conveyed my sentiment without inciting anger or pain. Kate Parrish, a transgender woman, says Gardner's views would require bathroom monitors, something unnecessary and childish. You're basically singling someone out and confining them to a specific restroom. Um, again, that is a form of discrimination. Lawyer Joanne Watke says within Omaha city limits, businesses cannot discriminate individuals based on their orientation or gender identity, both in employment or public accommodations. An alternative for someone who doesn't feel comfortable sharing a restroom is a unisex bathroom. And there's a lot people do not understand. We have, we have you know, as part of the trans community, we have our work cut out for us in educating people and reaching out to the community and letting them understand that we're just like everybody else. Gardner did want to apologize to anyone who may have misread his comment, but says he stands by his original statement. Our bathrooms need to be safe for the majority of women and not coddle the feelings of the few. I'm not saying that trans folks are the danger, but what I do know is that predators will use anything they can to gain access to victims. My business remains committed to and stand by our position to ensure safety to women and not care whose feelings get hurt in the process of providing that safety. Gardner went back to social media today to say he wants to set up a meeting with representatives from the transgender community and learn more about the matter. Members of the River City Gender Alliance told me they'd be happy to meet with him and open up an informative and educational dialogue. Reporting live from the studio, Maya Science, KMTV Action 3 News. Same